afternoon peeps it's time for a little unboxing and uh, today what we're gonna look at is uh, is a box of uh, onions or onion onion.io <clears throat> and uh, yeah it's basically uh, the uh, for those of you who are familiar with the, the <clears throat> Omega uh, first Kickstarter now this is I'm hoping uh, Mr. Postman has been very busy this week with me. Oh, yeah. Um, so we got um, a loosely wrapped um, cardboard box with a little bit of uh, protection there. Okay. So this is my onion Omega 2 Plus. I went for the 2 Plus because it's got uh, Wi-Fi, $9 at the time. Uh, that was pre-Brexit, which probably now is uh, worth about 100 quid. Uh, anyways, so, um, yeah, uh, the, the, the Omega 2, um, sort of one tier down, which is branded as the $5 computer uh potential raspberry pi killer um it makes me chuckle when i hear this raspberry pi killer uh, you know being branded around um i think it's uh it's quite a nice little board but is it a raspberry pi killer mm, doubt it um and i have got a uh onion sticker if i want to put that um, somewhere, uh, probably on one of my uh, boxes with my uh, geeky toys in. Uh, so that's a nice thing. Right. Um, mustn't keep you long, and uh, certainly not uh, if Simon's watching, because he doesn't like to be kept. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, don't troll me, Simon, please. Uh, anyway, so, in the box, as usual, and a uh, anti-static uh, bag. We have, hopefully, the Omega 2. We can see here we've got the SD card holder, uh, GPIO pins. I'm a bit disappointed that uh, there is no description on the GPIO pins or on the silk screen on the board to indicate um, what um, what the different pins are. Obviously this is something that easily can be looked up online on the Onion website but yeah uh, I'm pleased about the size of it and hopefully it should um, uh, fit on to a breadboard so we can uh, do a little bit of tinkering later uh wi-fi on board i said sd card and uh, once powered up uh, with three world three it should um, you should be able to then uh, go in via uh, wi-fi ssh to to get onto the access uh, that's something we'll do later but this is i said just a first unboxing um yeah i said no description on here as to what is what i happen to know that uh in the top uh left and right hand corner uh, the two uh, top ones are ground and three volt three next down on the right hand side so that is helpful um so you can't use a standard uh five volt uh, usb supply you have to um, get uh, or make a voltage divider, so to speak. Um, no onboard regulator, which is a bit uh, disappointing. Um, this is the Wi-Fi uh, antenna there. Yeah. So to get full functionality, uh, easy access to all the GPIO ports um, and start uh, tinkering with it a bit more easily, you would then have to get the uh, expansion docks, uh, power docks, etc. Uh, I think I am also quite disappointed to see that there isn't a micro USB port uh, on the board here somewhere. That 
would have been fairly easy to implement, I think, um, uh, without hampering the form factor, i.e. the tiny, uh, tiny footprint. Uh, I think it's a great board, and if it does what it says on the packet, we'll find out later. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nine dollar, uh, well spent, uh, I think, uh, particularly. Uh, uh, considering that the dollar now is worth a lot more and the pound is worthless. Thank you for watching, peeps.